Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm about to do a soliloquy of an ugly, broken, bruised, bitter heart. Now, this is not me speaking. I am role-playing. Because sometimes what God will do is show us a scenario that's happening over there in order for him to show us what's happening right here. So, see if this reminds you of somebody you know. It might be you. Listen, I don't have time. I don't have time for heartache. I don't have time for love. I don't have time for friends. See, you know, I don't let anybody get close to me. I've got my wall up because every time you let somebody get close, they're going to stab you right in the back, baby. All you got to do is turn your head a little bit and they got you. You better watch your back. You better watch your back. I don't even want you to be my friend. See, I don't play that. I have been stabbed. I've been used. I've been abused and I don't play it. As far as I'm concerned, everybody can drop dead. I don't need them. I don't need anybody, baby cakes. See, I got me. I depend on myself. Thank you. So you don't look at me strange like, like you think something's wrong with me. How dare you judge me? You must be out of your mind. I spent all my childhood trying to please my mother and trying to get to my father. And they both seemed like they were too busy to be bothered. Well, guess what? I'm too busy to be bothered for anybody now. That's right. That's right. If I got to be hateful, if I have to be mean, so be it. I earned the right baby. All those whoopings I got and I never got one hug. They never told me one time they loved me. They put me out in the street and make me sleep on the porch or make me sleep in the car because they didn't want to be bothered with me. Oh, please. And then call the authorities on me and sent me to the to the uh the system. And you think I'm going to sit up here and waste my emotions? Look, if my own parents couldn't do it for me, if my own parents didn't want me, what the heck do I think anybody else is going to want me for? Listen, I'm going to tell you something. You go through this life, you better trust on yourself, baby. Even God don't care about you. Because if God cared about me, he wouldn't have let all that crap happen to me. So don't come up here talking about love and forgiveness. Look, I really don't want to hear it. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I don't want to hear your mouth. I don't want to hear the preacher's mouth. I don't want to hear my mama's mouth or my papa's mouth. I don't want to hear anybody because none of them Negroids had any right after what they did and what they didn't do. Guess what? They can kiss my royal behind, including you. Okay, now, that's Pat's Two Cents now. This is Pat's Two Cents. Listen, that was an enactment. That was not me. That was an enactment. Role play. When you find yourself saying stuff like that, you are wearing your anger. You're dressing up in your bitterness, your hatred, your resentments. Yeah, that's right. Wearing it like a badge with pride. Screw everybody. Oh, yeah. And you don't realize that what you're doing is making it real obvious how hurt you are you're hurting and you don't want to admit it you're vulnerable you're sensitive like a turtle that just shed its shell and it's just totally vulnerable to all the elements anything can hurt it because that shell has been its protection 
Well, see, that's what happens. You build this shell over you, and then life rips it off. And then you get hurt. And then you build a bigger shell and a bigger shell until you're trapped. You're trapped. You are trapped in your own shell. And that's where God wants to set you free. He wants to let you know all that stuff they did that hurt you so bad, it doesn't have to hurt you anymore. God can remove all of that pain you've been feeling. God can pull out and uproot all that anger. You have to go to him. You have to or you will implode as you self-destruct. You have got to go to God. That is your only solution. That is your only answer. Take my word for it. I'm talking from experience. It's way sweeter living without all that crap riding you and covering you and trapping you, tying you up in knots. Life is much freer without all that mess. And only God can supernaturally remove your trash. God bless you.